Good morning, Mr. Lance. Good morning, Your Honor. Would you move the mic down? Yep. You got all dressed up to come to court today. Oh, I'm going to another court after here. I told you I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go to Superior Court. Oh, you didn't get dressed for our court. You got dressed for Superior Absolutely, Court. Absolutely, because I knew I was gonna be on candid camera. All right, you're here for two parking tickets. Who, me? On, one's on West Fountain, and one's on Benefit Street. It's tough to find a parking place in the back of uh, Superior Court. Anyway, riding around, riding around, and it was a long line of cars. They all were parked where they, they could be parked. And so at that time when I was looking, there was a, the last car on the end of the line just moved out and left, so I took his spot. Now, I'm looking at this three different signs, parking, no parking, you know, and I'm in a hurry to get into Superior Court. So I parked it right up to the guy real close, and the yellow curb all the way to the corner was behind right from my bumper, my rear bumper, to the corner, so I was safe. I come out of court, nobody's got a tag but me. So, I took it upon myself, because I looked odd, to take a picture of it with my new telephone. Now, if you want to put your finger through and go through, get all the pictures, you can see all of them. I have no get. inclination to do that, <laughs> unless you have it already up on, on the, if you have it up on the screen, I'll look at it. If you don't, I'm not holding this court up to look at your, <clears throat> and I don't want to see any of the pictures that you have in there, Mr. Lancelotti. Oh, uh, yeah, you've I been want before, to show you all you've the been, damage that you, the animals did to my property. I'm not interested in that. You don't want to see that? No, you've been before the court before. I know that you have a tendency to wander to other uh, collateral topics that we're not interested in. So, well, it's maybe it's because uh, I'm looking deal. for help all in the wrong place. <clears throat> why, why are you at Superior Court? My neighbor across the street uh, wanted a parking place, and he slowly robbed the parking place, and he, he has a girl, a new girl now, that they, uh, they lied and said, I hit and run this car. I park next to, he parks next to me. I've been there for 20 years. He's been there eight or 10 years. He called the cops hours later, and the sergeant took it upon himself to impound my pickup truck, stating that it was a hit and run. All right, as a no result, damage, no hit and run. I live across the street. Mr. Lancelotti, time out. Why are you going to Superior Court? Are you charged with anything? Because I, I, he, I, he stole my, my truck, and I busted his windows because he's oh, okay. on his van. Oh, okay. And, and, how did, and how did you bust his windows? How's that? What did you bust his windows with? A board, with a your fist? a little three-pound hammer. Oh. And... Uh, and I wasn't gonna hit him with the, the hammer, but he come running at me, full speed ahead, little motorcycle guy, tough guy, 10 years younger than me, and I just moved like that, he went like that, and I missed him sideways. <laughs> and anyway, that's what I'm going to call. 81 years old, no problems, no, no uh, trouble, good Samaritan, nice guy, here I am becoming a felon. It's unfortunate you've taken a bad turn in life. Hopefully you become rehabilitated. Well, I tell you, Your Honor, I know it's got nothing to do with this case. I nothing would... to do with this case. But when I get out of this, after losing a lot of money, time, and health, I'm going to hibernate like a squirrel. I would, like hope, I, would, I would hope, Mr. Lancelotti, that over the next 20 years you become rehabilitated, okay? <laughs> uh, because of your wonderful elocution this morning, that we're going to waive the penalty, so you will pay the original fine. See Inspector Quinn. Okay, thank you very much. Your Honor, I, one time I seen you see, on television. See I Inspector gotta, Quinn. No, I got to I, Mr. I gotta Lancelotti, this. Mr. Lancelotti, you may have hit the guy with the five-pound hammer. You're going to get this if you keep it up, right? <laughs> Sergio Correa. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning, sir. You have two parking tickets. They are both overnight parking tickets. Um, the parking ticket, it says overtime, this one over here. Yeah, it's, it's overnight. Oh, that's what that means? Yeah. Okay. One's at, one was at 3 o'clock in the morning. The other was at 4.40 in the morning. The one at 4.42 uh, in the morning, that one I actually just so happened to come from an event. I'm a radio host for the Spanish radio station in Boston and here in Rhode Island as well. And I do events at nighttime where I come to the clubs and whatnot. What kind of events do you do? Uh, different type of events. Are, I host. are you a disc jockey? What are you? I'm a disc jockey. I do uh, hosting for um, 
different events, bands to come to town, you uh, sing, come to Boston. You, you sing too? You... I wish I did. Actually, I have a song coming out, uh, but uh, I'm not a singer, really. But the song that's coming out, you sing it? Unfortunately, yes. Let's hear it. It's called Lo Blone, la baby que prenda lo blone, lo tiger que prenda lo blone, pila de mara pa' que más, pa' que más, pa' que más. That's pretty good to me. Uh, give us a translation of those, the words to that song. Lo Blone is, is about uh, smoking a blunt. I like cigars. So cigar, mm -hmm. a blunt, a cigar blunt. I don't smoke any other thing, by the way. Cigar blunts, I like to smoke just a cigar itself. So that's all it's all about. And drinking and partying and stuff like that. Oh, you're singing songs about drinking and cigars and all stuff like that. Oh, well, I, I like that. cigars. Cigars are good. Expect to carry again. Just don't kill yourself with it. You feel offended? I don't believe that a blunt is a cigar. <laughs> well, if you filled it up with stuff that is not a cigar, then that's a different story. But it's a cigar, though. Sergio. Yes, sir. We're giving you a break on one of the tickets. It's twenty dollars on the other. It's twenty dollars. Which uh, the, the you, ticket for three o'clock? Where, where, where was Sergio, that ticket? Sergio. Okay, Rockwood. This is a ticket on North Main Street and Branch Avenue, going through a red light at eight thirty-five in the morning. Let's take a look at it. Which one is Rockwood? Is that Rockwood in the white car? Yes, Your Honor. Rocco, where were you going? You were in a hurry. No. No? I'm never in a hurry. <laughs> you think you were in a hurry over there? No? It appeared that way. And you also, you also have a parking ticket on uh, Chalkstone Avenue. A parking ticket? Yeah, this goes back uh, 14 years ago. 14 years ago, we've been looking for you, Rocco. Mom. 14 years. <laughs> we've, had, we've had police officers, right? Parking enforcement officers, FBI, <laughs> right? We had everybody looking for you 14 years. Inspector could we got them. <laughs> he, he changed <clears throat> from the 14 years ago, Judge. That's why I didn't get a chance to get him. He's, he's changed his image a little bit. All right, now, Rock, I'm going to ask you a question. Right? Yeah. I, think, I think I know some of your background. I, were you a, a, like a, a, a trainer, a fight trainer? Yeah. yeah. Right? In other words, yeah. you, you taught guys, right? Yeah. Straight jab, right? Go to the left, up, the hook. then right, right? Now, I want to ask you a question, right? Let's assume you were starting to train me and I was a fighter, right? And my first fight. I'm fighting a guy who's a southpaw, right? Yeah. So what, what instructions are you going to give me on how to handle the southpaw? I tell you to move to your right. All right, now. To get away from the left hand. I'm going to tell you something. That's <laughs> good, okay? But now, my, father, my father was born in Italy. He came here, and as a young man, one of the things he did was he was a prize fighter. Yeah. And he always told me that when you fight a southpaw, right hand lead. Right yep. hand lead. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Because they're used to the left. He says, yep. right hand lead, and you get him every time. Yep. Right? Now, did you know that? Oh, of course I knew that. Why didn't you tell me? I just asked you, right? Well, you're keeping secrets from me? Um, I just told you. It's my first fight, right? Instead of you telling me right hand lead, you're saying, all right, move to your left. I, I'm looking for. No, so I. you told him that is that proprietary knowledge. He needs to get he <laughs> compensated for that. Get over there. <laughs> yeah. Any other secrets you don't want to tell no, me? No, I, I can't give out too many. <laughs> the one I don't want to give out is the one with uh, when you throw the left hook and you hit with the elbow also. It's a double chin. Let me see. Let me see it. Well, see if the, the chin is over here. When you hit over here, you turn the hand down and you crack them with the elbow too. Garbage. Oh, that's why those guys get the cuts <laughs> in the eye, right? Yeah. Oh, so it's like you come in, right? Yeah. You hit yeah. like this, right? You're in there. Yeah. Like, Floyd Patterson, you get low, right? You hit, and then you hit. No, no, see, it's one motion. I got see, it, I got it. See, some guys go like this. They go around like this, and the opening's here. <laughs> but when you hit over here, and you turn it down, you crack them with the elbow, you come over the top. What, did you fight? Yeah, I fought. How many boxes? How many matches? I had 15 fights. Yeah? Yeah. How many guys you knock out? All but one. <laughs> <laughs> 14 and a half. <laughs> The guy he didn't knock out knocked him out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. You were a fraction of a second off on the red light. Fraction of a, a second. fraction of a second off. Okay. So I mean, even though you wouldn't give me the the right scoop on the <laughs> right hand lead, you know. You can't give too much out, you know. Yeah. <laughs>
You know, everybody's going to be watching now for the left hook if the guy gets the uh, elbow. Next week, when I have the assaults coming in the court, yeah. I learned that. Like, yeah, you turn the hand over and you hit him with the elbow. And... Who's, gotta, who, is, who, who is the best trainer that you know? Well, uh, Charlie Goldman. He, he handled Marciano. Yeah, yeah, he was. One thing Charlie knew was leverage, you know, and most of these guys today forget about it. They don't, they don't know leverage. They slap the... Well, and what's leverage? Explain what leverage is. Well, leverage is uh, getting your whole body into the shot. They, they'll throw punches, their foot's off. To you you got to get your, your whole body right into it, you know? All right, now that you give me all that information, it's $842.62. Pull them, I'll them. <laughs> <laughs> Case is dismissed. <laughs> Thank you, Leon. Good luck. Karima Thompson. Good morning, Your Honor. Good, good morning. Who's this with you? Your lawyer? No, I'm with my fiance. My fiance. Your fiance. First of all, Karima, you have some tickets that go back to 2010, which is eight years ago. Whoa. Oh. Three parking tickets. Three parking tickets? Yeah, you owned a Dodge back then. You remember that? Yeah. The Dodge? Remember that Dodge? A Dodge Caravan. Yeah. You didn't know him then. Did you know him no. in 2010? No, I didn't. Mm. No. You, you were out of the picture. No, I was out of the picture. I'm with the, new two, I'm with the two new tickets. All right, the tickets that go back to uh, 2010, I'm going to find you $25 for those tickets. Okay. Wait, we didn't finish yet. Then you have another ticket on Dutton Street that's going to cost you another $20. That's the overnight parking? That was overnight. That, that was him. my fault. That was, that's you. That was me, yeah. I was moving, I was parking the car, and I went to move my mother-in-law, came in the house, to, went in the house uh, to go get the keys. Uh, uh, it's going to cost you just, just cough up the money and forget the excuses. <laughs> and now we have a red light violation. Who went through the red light? Your Honor, I have an explanation for that one. Well, let's take a look at it first. Okay, the explanation is that I let somebody use a rental car that was in my name because they had to go to work because they delivered pizza. And that's who got the ticket. But since the rental car was in my name, I'm here. This is a red light violation on Raymond and Chalkstone Avenue. Let's take a look at it. It's red. Yeah, look. Boom. Flash right when he hit the corner. What it's do you think about that, time. Karima? What I really want, which I really think about, I'd rather strangle his neck. Strangle his neck? Yes. Mm-hmm. Who are you talking about? Him? No, the oh, person the I like. The pizza guy. The yeah, pizza me guy. And the pizza oh. guy. Is the pizza guy your friend or his friend? Your friend. Oh. When's the last time the pizza guy gave you a free pizza? Oh, I don't deal with him no more. I had busted that car right there, busted the windows out of my car. So I don't deal with him no more. And that's the last time I got a pizza. Fact of the matter is, Inspector Carrigan, I can't make a determination whether that light is red or not because of the quality of the video. So because I don't think the city could prove its case by clear and convincing evidence, I'm going to dismiss that ticket on that basis. So because of the quality of the video, that's going to be dismissed. It's going to cost you $40 for the two parking tickets. Okay. Oh, no, it's going to cost you $45. Okay. How long have you guys, how long have you guys been together? Oh. How long have we been together? It's going on two years. Two years? Yes. Your, ask me how fiance's. many kids we have together. Uh, yeah, ask how many kids we got. That's, that's the real amazing question. Uh, you know, I did it. It's <coughs> a funny you answer that. Now, you don't have any children, do you? Who, me? Yes. Both yes. of you? Yes. yes. Oh, how many eight. do you have? Eight. You have eight? No, eight, eight all together. Eight and together. And how many do you have? I got three small ones. How many? Three? Three little ones. Oh. Do you have any together? No. No, we lost no. our baby last year. Oh, it's terrible. Got into a car accident February 8th. But when are you guys going to tie the knot? When are you going to make it official? I That's on not him. Not once, not twice, but three different times. Wait a minute. <clears throat> Listen. Carrick, go, go stand over there. No, oh, I'm going to get hit. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm going to hit you because that no, means I'll be going to jail. I can't hit him because I'm not going to go to jail. That's not marriage counsel. I was trying to I was trying to get Inspector Carrigan to intimidate him into popping the question. And he's, you marry me? I ain't got no ring on, but I'll get that on one day and say, will you marry me in the middle of the courtroom? All right, he's on bending knees. Yes. Oh, All right. I love you, Judge. <laughs> it's official, okay? 
It's it's forty five dollars for the tickets. Let us know when the wedding date is. All right, and good luck to the two of you. May you live happily ever after. And Thank Judge, you. I just want to say this. I seen you while I was in New Jersey when I was living in New Jersey on TV, and I said to a friend of mine, I can't. I, one day I'm gonna go up there just to go sit in this courtroom, and I never thought I would actually make it up here to see you. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. Have a good day, Jesse Miles. Good morning, Jesse. You have a parking ticket on Manton Avenue, overnight parking. Yeah, I, I had my handicap sticker. I thought I was good. I had a couple of drinks, so I wanted to eat and, 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 get, and take some time so I wouldn't drive or uh, tow up. And when I came out, I had a ticket. I thought I thought I was good with my handicap sticker, but I, I guess not. Do you have your handicap sticker with you? I, I have the uh, paper. Yeah, the paper. The, mm -hmm. Show it to Inspector Carriage. Your Honor, Mr. Miles has a handicap placard. It was issued on August 26th of 16, good till August 31st of 2021. Okay. Now, we have a couple of questions we have to ask you, Jesse. Okay? Yes, sir. Are you, are you listening? Are you listening? Yes, sir. First question is, was the handicap placard on the mirror? Yes, sir. Now, now, ordinarily, I'd say, of course. But I'm questioning whether or not you remember. You know why? Uh, 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 what? I have no idea. But this isn't a dentist office. Never mind. Uh, uh, <laughs> right? I have no idea, Jim. I'm going to tell you why I question it. Because I've been here see, before. Every time you open your mouth, you get yourself in trouble, right? <laughs> so the first thing you said was, I was drinking. I didn't, so you were drinking so much, I'm not sure you can remember. What do you think, Inspector Carrigan? He was drinking. Does he remember? I was drinking after I parked. That was a good answer. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell he wasn't drinking this morning. He has clarity of thought. <laughs> <laughs> Inspector Carrigan, this is a tough case. What are we going to do with this gentleman? Move to dismiss it. He has other issues he needs to deal with, Your Honor. All right. <laughs> the uh, gentleman has a handicap certificate that is valid. It was valid as of the date of the uh, ticket. So accordingly, the matter will be dismissed. The handicap placard does allow you to park on the street overnight. Okay. All right. All right. Good luck. Thanks. Raymond Lancelotti. Good morning, Your Honor. Mr. Lancelotti. Yes, sir. Uh, you were charged with parking in a prohibited area on Fulton Street. In front of the city hall. Yeah? How do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? I don't know if guilty or not guilty. That's all I did is I ran in to check on my, on my uh, uh, bill I got for a 95 Toyota pickup truck. Last year it was eighteen hundred dollars. This year, four thousand seven hundred. I don't think they know what they're doing down there. So I, I ran in, and he wasn't there. To Gary that takes care of that. So I came up. It was the meet of Molly must have been hiding in the corner because I, I wasn't even out, out two three minutes. And boom! I had an attack. Unbelievable that fast. Had to be laying and waiting. Not fair at all. Like, at least give me a few minutes. To go in and out. Now, you went down to pay your taxes. Huh? You went down to contest the valuation. I, I went to contest it, but the guy that takes care of that, it straightens it out for me. He wasn't in, so I just ran right back out again. These meter mollies, they must hide in doorways. All right, Mr. Lancelotti, uh, now you know the routine because you've been here before, but they are parking enforcement officers. I can't hear you too good. I said, we don't call them meter mollies. Oh. They are parking enforcement officers. Well, I picked that up by other people. No, I had to forget other people, right? I, well, I apologize. I won't well, do I'm it again. I just want to get you straight. Yeah, okay. Because I know it was a very difficult task knowing you in the past. Well, yeah, at my age, I kind of get sidetracked. You know, I am 84. You make me laugh. I don't think I'm going to make another year. What do you think? Think I'll make another year? Uh, the nurse just left. If she was here, I could probably give you yeah. a better... Yeah, I'm going to have a little operation on my shoulder. They found, they found it malignant, a little little lump. So who knows? When they put the knife to me, it may be a, the end of the road. So enjoy me while I'm here. <clears throat> I hope it's nothing serious. If it's in your shoulder, I'm not sure it's too much of a problem. No, it's doctor. the skin. It's the skin. We don't want to get into. We don't want to get into your personal medical history. Yeah, I got a ha bad habit of going into <clears throat> things. That All right, here's the story. The sign said you can't park there. You park there. 
So Only it's going to cost you. Usually all them spots are taken. It's costing you $30. See Inspector Quinn. Thank you, Your Honor. Thea Neary. Thea, you have a parking meter, an expired meter on Culver Street. Yes, Your Honor. The, I, I parked um, above the sign that said uh, no parking to the corner. However, I didn't see the three, the other two signs where the meter was in East Shapipi somewhere. That where was you it? Had on Culver Street. Shapipi, is that East what you Shapipi. said? This is the uh, Shapipi defense, Inspector Quinn. Uh, but anyway. Where is Shapipi? I, I, well, I don't know. That's what my father used to say, East Shapipi Street. Oh. But anyway, um, so I went to the doctor, to my <laughs> appointment. I came out and I got a ticket for $25 which I paid. So I received a summons for $75, and I was being punished. And I- Well, I you want to park on Shapipi Street, that's what's going to happen. I think you've been punished enough. I, I yeah, especially with the issue. <laughs> How do you feel about this, Inspector Quinn? Your Honor, I think we had an issue with this one time before. With what, Shapipi <laughs> Street? Stock, yeah, it's Dr. Vinnie Boombots. On, <laughs> on East Chapipi Street, yes, we've had an issue with them before. <laughs> I don't think it was Vinny Boobach. I thought it was Patrick Kelly. <laughs> you want to go to, uh, where do you want to go? Do you want to go to the men's reformatory or the women's reformatory? Where do men's. you want to go? Men's. Yeah. All right. And how long do you want to go for? You want to go for uh, a couple? Forever. Forever? Yes. Uh, I, I think as soon as, you, as soon as you walked in, I think you changed your mind. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There's been substantial compliance with the intent of the ordinance, and uh, this, is a, this is a case of first impression for this court. We've we never had a case before of anyone parking our, on uh, Shapipi Street. <laughs> no, I didn't say I parked there. I said the parking meter was way down oh. East Shapipi Street. Oh, East Shapipi Street. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Matter is dismissed. Thank you. I was schmoozing last time. To, I'm gonna admit it to you, I was really trying to get it reduced, but this time we really aren't at fault, so. <laughs> Carrie Hopkins. It's like it helps. Get close to the mic, Carrie. You want the mic up or down? It's good. It's good? <laughs> I think so, can, can you hear me? I think I can hear me. Uh, you're charged with parking during an emergency. What do you want to tell me about this? Well, Your Honor, I heard we were going to get snow. I parked in my friend's where'd house. You, where'd you hear that? Who told you? Who's, there was word who's of informing? Mouth. Who's informing Inspector Quinn? I heard. I heard my parents said we're going to get snow later as my stepfather. Oh, your parents? It wasn't, it wasn't the meteorologist, was it? It was your parents? Correct. Okay. Right. Um, <clears throat> so I wasn't aware of how much snow. Oh. And I, my only <laughs> option for parking was on the street. I was at a friend's house. You know, and I do go to school at Rick. I'm, I don't believe I'm a full-time student anymore, to be honest with you. I did have three classes, and I recently withdrew from a, a class. So I'm not full-time student at Rick, but I am a student at Rick. And uh, I was told when I got my car back from the, the towing company that if I went to court, presented myself, and said, hey, I'm a student, and I'm poor, and I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right. Inspector Quinn. Right. This is. What's the name of the tow Wait, 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 wait. What's the name of the tow company? There you go. They were on Thurber's. All right, Thurber's Avenue Tow Company, whatever the name is, right? Yes. They charged you the full amount for the tow, right? Yes, sir. They didn't give you a penny off, not one penny, right? No, your honor. You paid the whole thing. Yes, sir. And then the big shot, the big shot of the tow company says, "Listen, you're paying us the full amount, but go to the court and talk to the judge. He'll give you a break." To be honest, your so, honor, so Carrie, I, did I you can... think of this? Did you think of saying, "Say, what do you mean, go ask the judge for a break? Why, why don't you give me a break?" Not that I'm asking for a break, what are you but asking I figured for? I'd take my chances because I can't honestly, your honor, I can pay it. Um, this is twice you mentioned honesty. Now, the more you mention honesty, the, the more suspicious I'm oh, getting. Oh yeah, it doesn't look good, does it? <laughs> All right, Carrie, what else do you want to tell me? You got to keep thinking of stuff that's going to help you. Can you think of anything else? No. Honestly, um, I can't. <laughs> we did Honestly. get a lot of snow, Your Honor. It was declared a state well, of emergency now, before we got snow. I figured now that you dropped that one course at Rhode Island College, you must have a lot of extra money to pay for the ticket. Exactly. Right? 
Actually, I can't get refunded for the course because I already paid tuition. All right, Carrie, let me tell you how I feel about it. You paid enough money for the tow. Yes. I'm not going to charge you anything for the ticket. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, good, honestly. <laughs> honestly, no. <laughs> good luck. Thank you, sir. All right. Bye. Bianca Rivera. Good morning. Good morning, Bianca. Good morning, Judge. All right, now. Do you remember me, Judge? I beg your pardon? Do you remember me? Do I remember you? No, Sorry. get close to the mic. I have s some evidence to show you. Here, if you want to. <laughs> Maybe it'll jog your memory a little. <laughs> um, so I had recently gone to California for an internship for two weeks. Um, what, I go what to were you Johnson. doing? What kind of an internship? Um, I, I was front of the house manager at the W Hollywood Hotel. Oh, yeah. You were in Hollywood? Mm-hmm. It was super expensive. That's why I didn't pay any of these tickets yet. <laughs> um, Did they give you a room? Oh, no, no. They gave me a room, but f uh, food, travel costs, Ubers to the airport, oh, plus yeah. baggage fees. Oh, I mean, you worked in the hotel. Did they feed you? No, they did not. Super bougie and expensive. <laughs> I was schmoozing last time. That might hurt you. <laughs> I was schmoozing last time. To, I'm going to admit it to you. I was really trying to get it reduced, but this time we really aren't at fault. So I'm just letting you know now. <laughs> I got 80,000 views. Thanks. I remember you now. What do you want to tell me about the tickets? Um, Who so got the tickets? I did, and it's his car. We like share the car to go Thank to you. school because we go to Johnson and Wales. Yeah. So um, basically, I was parked at a meter, and the meter wasn't working, so I paid at a different one, and then I put it on the dash, and they still gave me a ticket. So I didn't like understand. They told me I parked at an expired meter, but I still. So she was proactive in paying for the thing when normally someone would just. It leave, was literally my last. And then like, they still got a ticket, so we were like, "Oh yeah, we're going to court." <laughs> now. The car's registered to whom? Rodney Turner, that's my His father. Dad. That's who? My father. That's your dad, right? Car's registered to your dad, and you were driving the car. Mm hmm All right? Now, your dad got a notice in the mail, did mm -hmm. he? Mm-hmm. So well, he, mom did, but yeah. Your mom, so she's not happy. Yeah. Right? And then, so did you take credit for it? You say it was me, or did you say, oh, no, it wasn't me, it was Bianca? Um, actually, no, I did say it was me. You said it was you? Yeah, I did. Oh, you took, oh, good. I, like I don't that. know how she would feel if she knew that she was driving yeah. it. <laughs> We're careful <laughs> drivers, though, so. All right, now, how did you guys work this out? Did you say to Bianca, listen, I want the cash. I mean, the car's red to my mother. No, I just said, let's, no. go, let's go contest. You yeah. worked it out? I just yeah. didn't want to. We had, like, my an agreement credit. if we use the car and we get a ticket, then we have to. I mean, this, this thing, like, it. caused a real rift in, you know, your friendship, no? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, Inspector Quinn moves did that we. Did you have this on the dash? Yes. I had it like in the window, so I don't know. Right, maybe. I'm saying on a ticket that it wasn't there, but you're on, on the Clabrick Street ticket. The uh, they do have a, a receipt to, that was active during that time. They should not have received a violation. I think what happened was I think I think the, the receipt turned upside down. That's what I think happened. Uh, See the Inspector Quinn off to the left. Yeah. Okay, you're free. Thank you. Thank you, Wait, it says You're free. Now you can take your own video. Here you go. <laughs> okay. All right, Thank the matter is dismissed. Thank Good luck. Tyrone Jackson. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Mr. Jackson, you have a parking <coughs> ticket on North Main Street. This is an expired meter. Yes. Uh, I don't know how I didn't put the full amount in. I brought... I've parked there several times. I volunteer to teach meditation. The class is an hour long. I always do the full meter. I get there a little earlier. What do you teach? Meditation? Meditation, yes. Now, that lasts an hour? The cl well, yeah, it lasts an hour, yeah. Instructions well, I mean, do, and sitting and meditation. Do you tell everybody, close your eyes for an hour? We meditate with our eyes open. Oh, and you just, no one talks, you just walk out after an hour and say, okay, the class is over? Uh, no, there's instructions, too. Just, oh, you talk? Yes. Inspector Quinn, how can you meditate when you talk, when the guys talk? That's the I, best. I, I appreciated the first class because I think that's the one that I attended, the meditation with your eyes closed for about an hour. Everybody. <laughs> well, I think the when thing you that were in, When you were in school, yeah, I Quinn, used to meditate right? in every class I had. Right? When you took chemistry. That, <laughs> my chemistry class was my mediation class, right? <laughs> I would go in, I'd close my eyes, and then somebody would shake me, say, class is over. I'd say, thank you, and I'd leave. I think what, what we, most people don't understand about meditation is, <laughs> The advantage is learning how to meditate when you're not sitting. 
So when you're walking, when you're talking, you just still have that state of calm. So you're not in a reactive state, but you're in a response, yes. Get me to meditate. It's mindfulness, yes. Get me to meditate right now. Get you to meditate right yeah, now? Yeah, right now, right now. I need it, trust me, after this crew here today. Oh, you did, the, one of the first parts is learning to focus on your breath. My breath? And watch your breath. And one of the methods I use as you watch your breath, you're also visualizing a wave going in and out. So when you're breathing out, the wave is, com is coming into shore. You visualize it seeing the shore. Narragansett Bay. Exactly. And you continue with that until your focus is just on the wave and your breath. Right and outside eventually, the you even hear the waves. Right outside the Coast Guard house. I can see it now. <laughs> yes. Inspector Quinn, look at, he's, look at him. He's meditating. He's already out. <laughs> Now, what are the benefits of me meditating? Lower stress, increases life expectations. Stress, I'm on my reserve tank of stress, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> it also focuses, it helps you with your concentration. Watch this now, you're gonna get, there's gonna be a group thing. The class is free, you're all welcome to come. A public defender, stand up. All right, I want you to meditate, breathe out. <laughs> Can't meditate Breathe up. out. Uh, Keep your eyes it's, open. It's not that you can't. You just haven't learned how to. All we right. all can. All right. I don't know how to. All right. She can't do it. All right. Inspector Quinn, you you fell asleep already. Yeah, you know, um, last thing I remember all right. was I want. All right. All right. This is the crash course. One more thing that will help me meditate. I, here's what I'm doing. I'm breathing out. I see my breath. It's like waves crashing on Narragansett Bay, and I can feel the serene. Sereneness, yes, just emanating from my body. I just feel relaxed, and I feel very uncharitable. And I bet, and I. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Your Honor. Based on the uh, statement he, uh, the motorist has provided hey, you're from sleeping. the bank, you're sleeping. What are you going to tell me? Yeah, no, uh, several. Uh, Times over the past three, four weeks, he has paid 250, 250, yeah, 250, yeah, yeah. and the one I believe it was the 24th or whatever stated yeah. 175. Um, couldn't explain it, but he has in the past put in the full amount. All right, Mr. Jackson, you're a good sport. And thank th you. Thank you for the lesson. You're welcome to come to my class anytime you like. Okay. It's one in the evenings. It is. I may. It's free I, also. I may take you up on that. <laughs> yes. All right. The matter is dismissed. Good luck to you. Thank you, sir. Julia the Power. <laughs> Julia, there's a mic there and a mic there. I'm right in the middle. All right. I, I got the voice. <laughs> no, Julia, you're going to get the voice into one of the mics. Get to, okay. get to that one. That one's better for you. Okay. Get, uh, get close. Hello. All right, good. <laughs> oh, boy. Julia. You were charged with speeding yep. on Child Street. Yep. <laughs> now, this is no laughing matter, Julia. No, I know it. All right. You don't know the whole story, but that's all right. Oh, what's the whole story? Oh, no, no, no. Give nothing. me give me the short comedy. version. Give me the comedy, short. Comedy, comedy. I want the short version of the whole the story. The short version, I was going to my sister's house. There was traffic on Route 10. I had to bypass the traffic because I came by the city. So lo and behold, I had to go by Child Street, which I did. She calls me up just before, I guess, where the cameras were. Where are you? I said, I'm on my way. Maybe I was going a little fast at the time. So that was it. Yeah, you know, so the only car on the road, after, it was after 7 o'clock. You just convicted yourself. It's all your sister's fault. She's so I told her. I said, Vilma, it's all your fault. <laughs> I says, I says, I seen the red lights flashing. I said, I want to kill you. No, that's it. Oh. In a nutshell. <laughs> Inspector Quinn? Yes, Your Honor. She threatened to kill her sister. Well, did her <laughs> sister file a complaint, Judge? What? Because I have enough work going on right now. I can't go out and solicit complaints. If the sister comes in, you want to call I'll the accept the complaint. You you call the, call we're we're going to call the committing squad, right? <laughs> You've already... <laughs> yeah, it was intent. It was this, is, this is intent to commit murder, Inspector Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> she came here for a speeding violation. She's going to end up in the can for, for murder. <laughs> It's the truth. It is the truth. It's all your sister's fault. Yes. Now we're going to set it down for trial. All right. You're going to bring your sister in at the date of the I trial? I have to, right? I want your sister here at the all date right. of the trial, right? All right. Yeah, I want proof of life of the sister anyway, Judge. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to ask you if she wants to prosecute you for attempted murder. She's going to prosecute yeah. me, right. All right. Good luck to you. All right. Good morning, morning. sir. Good morning.
declining to. The charge was speeding, sir. Have you, have you been driving for three years? Uh, no, I've not been driving in the U.S. for three years. No, uh, but I've been driving in, in Africa before the U.S. So I uh, just get my U.S. license like six months ago. Oh, you celebrated by speeding. Uh, no, I, 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 I didn't see no, no speed sign on, the, on Harris Avenue. And uh, that was the way from Harris to Providence Place, like uh, towards Providence Place Mall. I didn't see no sign, so I thought that was like 30, the speed limits and something like that. But when the cop stopped me, uh, he told me that the speed limit was 25. And then uh, he gave me a ticket mm -hmm. and told me that I was driving 35. Mm -hmm. So, but he wrote uh, 38 on the ticket. No, he wrote 35. Oh, oh, okay. I saw another 38 on the side. I don't know what it means, though. So. Yeah. Now, you received the driver's license in Rhode Island, right? Yes. And you had to study the book, right? Yes, I did. Yeah. And then did, in that book, did you read that unless otherwise posted that the speed limit within the city limits is 25? You didn't read yeah, that, chapter. Yes, yes. Oh, I, you read that? I, I read that. But oh, uh, read uh, there, are, there are some other places in I the... Think everyone read it, Judge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, I read so that. I read the book. The That's why book. I, yeah, I get my mean anything. You know, uh, but uh, I was with my wife and my and my two babies. They over there. Where are you know, they? So I was. Where are uh, they? Oh, bring them up here. Come here. You know, I was with, with all of them. Get them know. up here. I was with all of them, and I didn't feel like I was speeding because I was just following the cars in front of me. And but when he when he stopped me, I just pulled over. I didn't know why he stopped me, but he told me that I was speeding. Yeah. But I was not uh, very looking at my speed yeah. when I was driving. Were you yeah, in the car? was in the car, too. Were you in the car with him? Yes, I was in the passenger seat. Oh, did you tell him to slow down? Well, I didn't feel like we were, you know, going exceeding too much over the limit. Not too much? No. no. like Just a just, little? Yeah, just a little. I didn't even... No, I, she... she <laughs> I was on the honest one. <laughs> He wasn't looking at the odometer. She who, felt it. Who else was in the car? It just the, um, the baby. Oh, now endangerment of a child as well. Yeah, and he wouldn't, well, I mean, he wouldn't go over the speed limit, you so, know, excessively knowing that the family was in the car. I got it. Right. So he endangered your wife, the mother of the child, right, and the, and the child. Right? Is that what he did? No, he did not he do did that. He did not. Okay. And who's this little guy? This is our other son. What's his name? Menelik. Look up here. Say hi. Hi. Come up here. Bring him up here. I want to ask him a question. Okay. I'm going to ask you two questions, okay? Okay. And you're going to say one or the other. Now, we're talking about your father, right? Now, you're going to say guilty or not guilty. What do you say? Guilty. Guilty. <laughs> An honest boy. <laughs> Shake hands. Good luck. Okay, you can go back. <laughs> it's official. You are guilty. <laughs> no, he didn't understand. He doesn't know what he's saying. <laughs> Well, you have a wonderful family. Thank you. I'm going to give you credit for your good driving record back in Africa. Thank you. So okay. Much. Just be careful down there. I will. And you have a very honest young man as well. <laughs> Michael Vieira. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning, sir. Mr. Vieira, you have an expired meter on Friendship Street? Yes. Um, I go to family court a lot, ongoing divorce matter. So I pulled up to a spot. Uh, the meter was expired. I put some myself quarters in, I realized that the meter wasn't taking, like tallying up the time, so I took a quick video of it, I put one more, it's a quarter in. Um, and it didn't re register. And uh, it didn't register, I show no. Inspector Quinn. So if you just hit that triangle, it'll start to play, I guess. Okay, here's my car. Here's the meter. Here's a quarter going into the machine. Watch the time. I can't see it. It's so scratched and mangled. There it is. Hear it. Look at the time not going up. I've put four quarters in. 
So when I get a ticket, I'm fighting it. Okay, I heard it. Mm -hmm. I'm putting quarters in. Meat is not registering, that's what you said. That's what but I'm the saying. one thing that bothers me is at the end of this, you said, and if I get a ticket, I'm... Fighting it. Fighting it. Now, yes. it's my sad duty to inform you that you have to fight Inspector Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> You're not fighting me, because if you fight me, I got fails. Right? <laughs> so I don't suggest you fight me. Inspector Quinn, how do you feel about this? Your Honor, based on the video, uh, the city will move to dismiss. Uh, the motorist did put uh, coins in, and the time did not change. All right, the matter is dismissed. Thank you, Your Honor. Good he doesn't call 911. He calls his friend, who's a cop. But he was never at there. He never saw anybody go through any stop sign. Where does he come up with that one? Because uh, his buddy said he did? He and your charge were parking during an emergency. Was your car towed? Yes, it was. How much did it cost you for the tow? So it cost me $130 to get the car back. Inspector Quinn, you want to be heard on this? Uh, Your Honor, uh, that is about the going rate, Your Honor, for a tow. So I tend to believe the motorist. So I don't think it would be fair, Your Honor, to uh, double, 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 double a fine on him, basically. I, I, I've never lived in a city before. I live in Maryland. I've never heard of a parking ban. So I was unaware that you weren't allowed to park in the street when wait, it was wait, snowing. Wait, wait. You were doing pretty good until you gave the explanation. Okay. <laughs> you never heard of a parking ban? I've just never lived in a city. I didn't, I'm, where I'm from, you just park in the street. Well, where do you live? You live in Parkton, Maryland. I do, yes. Is that farming com country? Where pretty is much, it? yeah. There's nothing around there. No? It takes like 20 minutes to get to a grocery store. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. yeah. So we have, you have livestock? Not anymore. I raised uh, 20 chickens in high school. Delicious. You raised 20 chickens? Yeah. What did you do with them? Uh, I ate the eggs. <laughs> and then eventually, when I went to college, I gave them to a friend who had a big farm. Oh, okay. You didn't kill them and eat no, them? No, I did not. No, all right. I, they were close, sure. too, too uh, close to home. All right, good. Okay. <laughs> Delicious right, eggs, well, though. Then, what came first, the chicken or the egg, Inspector <laughs> Quinn? <laughs> the ticket. This is the chicken and egg. I know. Huh? This friends. <laughs> How are the eggs, though? Good? Farm fresh eggs. Oh, delicious! Yeah. Right. Big and oh, beautiful. Yeah. Uh, they, they they classify eggs in different sizes, right? Like medium, large, yeah, these jumbo, were like huge, pillets. way bigger than you see at the grocery store. Well, how uh, how do you get the chicken to <laughs> to get to? Uh, how do I? So I raised them from little peeps, little babies. Oh. They were like three days old when I got them. <laughs> Well, you sound like you have a good heart. Anyone who takes care of animals. Thank you. Obviously has a good heart. Not that that's going to help you with your parking offense, yeah. okay. Inspector Quinn feels that you've already paid $130 for the tow. <coughs> and he thinks that's sufficient punishment, and I agree with him. So Thank based you. on the recommendation of Inspector Quinn, uh, the matter will be dismissed, okay. But remember, every time it snows, like, watch the news or listen to it on the radio. Usually there's a parking ban. Yeah, I know now. <laughs> All right, well, this is the month of April, so we shouldn't have any more snow. We might, but we never know around here, right? But particularly from November to uh, the end of February, right? Yeah. J just listen. Okay, Okay. thank you. Because it's, it's a $100 fine. It's very expensive. Yeah. All right, the case is dismissed. Thank you, sir. Luigi Gianfrancesco. Mr. Gianfrancesco, I think you were before me once before, right? No. Never? That's the second time in 50 years I've been in court. Uh, okay. I went about three years ago, uh, I got a parking ticket, and uh, where the, I parked the right place, but I gave me the parking place, so I came back. You turn on the bad corner in life. Your child's been going through a red light on Pleasant Valley Parkway and Valley Street. Yeah, Mr. Gianfrancesco, the light is red. Uh, stop it, see. The light is red, and they're right in front of you. Put the arrow, please, Inspector Quinn. Right in front of you is a, is a sign that says, no turn on red. Your Honor, I'm guilty with, with that explanation. I went by, I st usually I stop it, but I see that car going by. I, I had a problem with my stomach. I, had a, I was sick that week. And uh, my son says, he called me up and says, can you go shopping for me? I said, I cannot go because I got to run all the time. He said, please go. I just got to cut my, my finger because he got a deli. I says, OK, I go. So I was in rush to go. Probably I didn't pay attention. Uh, I, I know every stop sign I, I stop. And that day, I don't know what happened. I see the car turn, and I, I look left and right. Nobody was coming. And, uh, and I take the right turn. 
Your friend that owns a deli? No, my, uh, my son. Owns a deli? Deli, yeah. What, what kind of sandwiches does he make? <clears throat> you want a good sandwich, that's where you gotta go. You see what Everybody. You, you and see, the Italian deli. You see what you do? You went like this, right? You know, you know what that, Inspector Quinn? Yes, sir. Uh-oh. What does that mean to us? Nothing. But Very good. It means nothing. <laughs> Mr. Gianfrancesco, si. you're not supposed to do this. You're supposed to come in with the bag. Oh. <laughs> He's close. You're supposed to come in with the bag. I mean, close early at night. I mean, what kind of sandwiches <laughs> do you make? You have meatball and pepper? He got meatballs. He got oatmeal sausage. He makes his own meatballs. Everything. Do you help him with the meatballs? Uh, once in a while. Yeah, what do you, how do you make them? Tell me, how many eggs per pound? Uh, I don't know. He does you, don't, so you don't know. I don't know nothing about it. Well, I'm going to tell you, he right? He took to my mother's uh, recipe. Your mother's recipe, but you don't know. See, she, I already no. caught you. You said, I help him. You don't help him. No, no. I don't. <laughs> I help him roll him once. And, no, I help him in a cash register. No, you don't. That's all I can do. <laughs> I've done mechanic work all my life. So. You, you just fought meatballs. You don't know anything about meatballs. <laughs> no, I don't make them, no. 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 But if you do make them, it's two eggs per pound, right? Put in some uh, Parmigiano, uh, Reggio Parmigiano cheese, right? a little salt, a little pepper. Now I make a, he put even bread there, you know the you bread. You gotta put the hot, hot bread. bread, you gotta soak it in the yes. water, right? Yeah. That's he, what you gotta do. He just made about a thousand meatballs last week. <laughs> <laughs> everybody here, everybody's mouth yeah, is so watering I, here. I was sick, I don't wanna go, he said, please go. I says, okay, so that's what I have to run. And that's my story. <laughs> All right, you're paying court costs. All right, thank you very much. Walter Farrell. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Walter, you have two red lights, both on Roger Williams Avenue. Lights, please. Oh, well, you're guilty on that one. Actually, you almost got in an accident. So let's go to the next one. Wasn't me. <laughs> Okay, what do you want to say, sir? That's my Lights, please. It's not me. I'm here representing her. She had to stay on with the baby. I don't know anything this about is this. Shavanda's? Yeah. This is for Shavanda. She's home with the baby. She just had a baby. All right. So, I don't know nothing about this. Well, you know a lot about it now. You just saw oh, it. Yeah, I see it. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to talk to her when I get home. <laughs> uh, tell her, don't take the baby for a ride. Oh, no. Uh uh. How old's the baby? Oh, newborn. Three days old. Three days? Yeah. Is it a boy or a girl? Boy. Oh, did you name it yet? JCM. Oh. She wrote you a letter, but I don't know if you want to. She wrote me a letter? Yeah. Let me see it. She wanted me to hand the letter. <laughs> Dear Judge. Please do not believe a word Walter says. He's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Treats us all terrible. He has plenty of money to pay the fine, so don't believe him if he pleads <laughs> poverty. She's telling the truth, Judge. <laughs> wow. All right. Based on the uh, information contained in in the letter. Uh, matter will be dismissed. Spend the money on the baby. Right. Thank you, Your Honor. Como. Good morning. How you doing? <clears throat> if I get rid of this cold, I'd be doing a lot better. Hold on. <clears throat> you got to drink scotch. <laughs> You'd be better. <clears throat> be up here with a bottle. Right. No, no, don't. You know, vodka. Do vodka then. Maybe have, have a bottle of doers on the bench. Excuse there me for a minute. Rush, your charge we're going through a red light on Pleasant Valley Parkway and, and Valley Street. Red, Your Honor. The sign's right here. No red on red. I'll play one more time, Your Honor. All right, Bruce, did you see that? The sign is right in front of you. You made the right-hand turn. Over here, I just, if you looked at it, sir, and stopped. In a picture? I was stopped. <clears throat> Bruce. No, 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 I'm at the mercy of the court, that's all. <clears throat> you have a photograph. It's not a moving photograph. I'm not disputing it. I'm not disputing no, it. No, but you said to me, it shows that I was stopped. You wasn't stopped. And this it was. <laughs> you want to look uh, at it? 
No, I don't. Okay. It's, a, it's a photograph. Obviously, yeah. it stopped. I'm at the mercy of the court, sir. I'm 81 oh, well, years old. Inspector Quinn, do you have any mercy? I uh, have to check with Inspector Carrigan. I didn't bring the mercy package with me today. Maybe Inspector Carrigan has a little. I have none, Your Honor. I'm sorry. Uh, based on your record, it's going to be $35 court cost. Thank you. <clears throat> Remember this. Please. Remember this. All photographs <clears throat> are stopped. Yes, sir. Because you buy one of those cards, you open them up and they jump up and down. Right? Other than that, photographs are stopped, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> speak into the mic. I'm here to talk for him. He don't speak English. All right. Are you okay. related? Yes. How I'm are you his, related? I'm his girlfriend. Oh, that's a very <laughs> strong relationship. <laughs> yeah. He, he's got a big smile on his face once you said that. <laughs> Who got these tickets? Uh, he did. He did. Mm -hmm. All right. You weren't driving the car, were no. you? No. Okay. And these tickets are all on the same street. Street, my house. <laughs> oh, your house. Yes. Oh, he comes to visit you. Yes. And he gets tickets. You don't mind. <laughs> it's so pleasurable just the thought that he's with you. The pain goes away, right? Yeah. So Ask him that. Ask him if he minds getting the tickets to visit you. No tengo otra opción, but... He don't have no... <laughs> I don't know. He didn't seem too happy with that. Yeah. We better... <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't want to be part of a breakup here. Yeah. All right, what do you want to tell me about this? Okay, he, he, pays, he pays some of the tickets, but I guess he paid them late through the mail, yeah. and um, the, it, it went up. It was it was higher the, the amount of money, <laughs> but they they were paid. I guess he didn't pay them on time. I know. He paid all three tickets. Yes. And they weren't paid within 14 days, so they added the penalty to it. Right. Him. So I think that he did what he was supposed to do. Okay. So what do you think I should do with this case? I don't know. <laughs> well, if you were me, what would you do? Well, I just miss it because he paid. All right. I mean, you wouldn't charge him any penalties at all? You wouldn't, you wouldn't charge him not even no. like a $20 penalty? Well, yes, if, if you have to. <laughs> no, I mean, what would you do? Would you like to, because the penalties are, let me see, 40, 80. Uh, the penalties are pretty steep. P penalties are like over $80. Okay. You wouldn't charge him anything? No, I would charge him. How much? <laughs> like 20 bucks. You would? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, Inspector Quinn, Inspector Quinn, here's the deal. Here's the deal. <laughs> this guy paid $100 for parking during an emergency. He paid 100 bucks, right? Then he paid $20 for two other tickets, right? All because he's visiting her, right? And now she wants to charge him another 20. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to dismiss it. Okay. I know I, I'm already having some fun with you, okay? Uh-huh. Listen, he thinks so much of you, right, that he's already paid $140 yes. just to come and visit you. That's how much yes. he thinks of you. So <laughs> I think he paid enough. Okay, thank you. You, you agree? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, Thank you. But still tell him it costs 20 and you go buy the food that you're going to cook today for him, all right? <laughs> Thank all you right. very much. Good morning. Good morning. Diane, you have an expired meter on Blackstone Street. Were you at the hospital? I was at the hospital. Um, I ran in. I had to go in. And get you a... ran in? I didn't see you. Well, I don't, not, I don't. Let me rephrase that. You, you I limped slowly in. slowly went to the hospital. I limped in to the hospital <laughs> to get a wow. new prescription. So I went into the hospital, got my, what I had to do, came out and found a ticket on my car. I mean, I, if I was in the hospital more than 15 minutes, and this was a two hour, I believe, parking meter. You see Inspector Carrigan looking at you very intently? Oh, yes. You know why? He's looking at you very intently, because he knows. You know, I'm, well, gonna I'm gonna ask him whether or not you're telling the truth, because this is all a question of credibility. And I didn't have, and unfortunately, I, I didn't even take my cell phone with me that day, because as I said, I was just going down to get this prescription. I you know, came out of my house, did what I had to do, and went home, so it wasn't like I packed my bag, made sure I had my cell phone and all this stuff with me. I was going to the hot he doctor. Watches, he watches everything you do when you're talking. Well, I'm telling you. What, what is your name, officer? Danny. Dear? 
Danny. O Officer, Danny. Officer Carrigan. Yeah, and I, I, so I did all this and came out and then had this parking ticket in my, on my window and I'm like, why did that happen? I put my money in, I just lost $2 and now I'm out $2 on top of, uh, I think it was $25 parking ticket that I received, so $28. Now, Inspector Carrigan, when people uh, turn their palms up when they're talking and they tilt a little bit, what does that mean? Yeah, she's telling the truth. She's oh. way too nervous not to be. You could take her upstairs and get some crime solved right now if we need to. <laughs> <laughs> I, let me tell you something. I wouldn't take this time to come here this morning because at 10 o'clock I was telling the people, I have a doctor's appointment, so I need to get there as well. So. Your Honor, she could be talking her way back into it. <laughs> okay, let me shut up. What people were you talking to? Uh, oh, you mean you were disturbing the court? Well, well I was, was no, I was actually asking this gentleman. I He's don't know what his gentleman. name is. I'm sorry. I said, we're going to be done before 10 o'clock because I have a doctor's appointment that I need to get to. Well, we would be if you stopped talking. Okay, I'm done. Matters is dismissed. <laughs>